the indicators uh, are not going to change in the short term. We've got two pressures in terms of, uh, I suppose, Africa as a continent in particular. It's one of the continents most impacted by climate change. Climate change that actually is impacting on the level of resources available to that continent. And while at the same time, Africa is actually experiencing an extraordinary, um, ex I suppose, development in terms of population. And it's it, UN forecasts that uh, the African continent's population will almost double by 2050. And these operations in the Mediterranean Sea that you mentioned, were they carried out um, in collaboration with other naval services? Yeah, we worked. Other uh, and, countries? Yeah, we worked primarily with the Italians in terms of the first bilateral in Operation Pontus, and more recently then with the um, EU institutions in terms of Operation Sophia, which was um, um, an, an EU-led mission. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, the actual efforts of the men and women of the Defence Forces came down to basic skills, the ability, and it's something that it would, I suppose, separate us from other navies, is our ability to operate in very challenging environments in small boats that are launched and recovered from ships. And that was a key enabler in terms of that type of operation in the Mediterranean. Um, we obviously are, are, have to intercept whereby we see uh, people who are in a difficult circumstance and they're often we, when we arrived on the scene they were already in the water the craft had sunk mm -hmm. um, but sometimes they were so overloaded the craft was about to sink and the difficulty with then the, the challenges in terms of criminality is if we carried out the rescue uh, and left the craft it was often uh, used by the criminals to go back in and use it as again, a platform yeah. do it again so we developed particular skills to dispose of those crafts so they couldn't be utilised in terms were they of... they sunk? Uh, they were sunk, generally sunk. Um, but, you know, going back to that kind of expertise, uh, and generally the Mediterranean is, um, uh, I, I suppose, a more, more a less hostile environment than we find off the West Coast. Over the decades, we have refined the skills of launching and recovering boats in what are statistically some of the roughest seas in the world. I think the largest wave ever measured by a scientific instrument was off the northwest coast of Ireland, almost, uh, I think it was in excess of 29 metres. Mm -hmm. And that can be the conditions that our ships operate in. And when I look at our ships, you must think of the people on the ships. That's the environment in which very often we have to deliver services uh, from. An environment which, while it is a million square kilometres, it is statistically some of the roughest seas uh, on the planet. And we have to actually ensure that the, our personnel are properly trained, that our ships are well found, and that we actually have the ability to forecast properly these evolving situations at sea. In particular, uh, as we see now, the consequence of climate change that is in leading to what I see is um, a deterioration in terms of the North Atlantic um, storm patterns that we have to and characterise our, our, um, our operating environment.